Hello, my name is Anthony Nagel, and today I'm going to demo the Simoka Secondary Plan Check software for you. When logging into Simoka, you'll first be presented with the patient work list. The Monte Carlo Secondary Dose calculation begins as soon as the plan export is saved to the listener folder. With calculations typically taking around a minute or two, you'll commonly find plans in the status pending, as you see here. The fields for a patient can be seen by clicking on the drop-down, and the details of a field are presented by clicking on it. First, you'll see the header information containing the delivery type, number of fractions, and total dose. Just below that is a table containing the treatment planning dose and the Simoka dose, as well as the dose difference for each of the volumes that have been identified. Dose information is also displayed graphically via the dose volume histogram. Volumes can be selected for display from the list on the right. The user can also move the cursor across the histogram to display more detailed information about the selected volumes. Just below the dose volume histogram is the 3D gamma analysis. In this case, we have a 99.4% pass rate using 2% per 1 mm criteria and 2.5 mm voxel sizes. The image slice viewer allows the user to step through the volumes slice by slice, viewing the treatment planning system dose, the Simoka dose, and the gamma. If any slices are of interest, they can be saved by clicking on the camera button, and they'll be stored in the saved images area, as well as in the PDF report. The final portion of the analysis is the beam information table. This table displays calculations performed for each individual beam. Dose differences between the treatment planning system and Simoka are calculated in both monitor units and gray. Simoka also provides plan complexity scoring information based on properties such as field irregularity, small field contribution, and leaf travel variability. These values are intended to help prioritize any follow-up QA activities that may be needed. After reviewing the plan, it's possible to make any notes needed at the bottom of the page before either approving or rejecting the plan. Once the plan is approved, a PDF report is generated so that any needed physical records can be kept. Taking a look at the PDF report, we'll first be presented with the plan information, approval status, the reviewer, and any notes that were made during the review. Next, we'll see the metrics table just as before on the web interface. The dose volume histogram in the PDF is accompanied by some table data showing Simoka and treatment planning system calculations for the defined volumes. The gamma analysis comes just after the dose volume histogram information tables. Images saved during the workflow are shown in the PDF report with each of the visible structures highlighted. And once again, we have the beam information table showing dose difference calculations, as well as plan complexity scoring. The report will also state the plan settings such as voxel size, beam model, and density tables used to perform the calculation. For more information, including clinical webinars, I invite you to visit the IBA Dosimetry webpage at www.iba-dosimetry.com. Thank you.